Today we're going to break down the fear machine using really cool characters. <laughs> and it's going to be a stereo instruction type of format where it's something that's easy to soak in and understand. I'm not going to say a bunch of crazy shit that you don't understand. Uh, I like to try to keep it as layman as possible. Alright, so. Alright, Pizzagate. Pizzagate is most likely a hoax. Pizzagate has got everyone believing that people are being eaten and all of this stuff. And the next thing you know, all the celebrities bust it out. And if you look at the the media and everything, there's reoccurring patterns. As soon as it comes out, everybody jumps on board. Notice that there's a bunch of shields running around with no follower base that suddenly gets 60,000 something views all the exact same amount of views 30,000 60,000 and they're preaching this new pizza gate explosion that just popped up all over the place and Joe Biden's kiss on a girl on the news and it's all just a bunch of fear mongering going on here it's just a bunch of fucking bullshit it's a bunch of lies going on this whole Satan character that they keep trying to rub in our face and keep trying to get us to believe in is clearly just this black sun idol. Whether they're worshiping it or not, it's a bunch of bullshit. It's just a bunch of fear mongering. No one's going to be a private detective and see kids tied to fucking tables on Instagram and not kick doors down. I mean, it's just not reality. You, people think motherfuckers are getting shot. Look at the obituaries. You'll see the Rudy Eugene, the face biter, the whole push of this whole face biting World War Z thing. He was even in the movie on the beginning credits. Had me fucking scared to death of this whole face biting thing. The whole flocka, get it? Flocking people. They just want people to put the pieces together and be scared. And that's it. Because why? Because they are more scared of us than we are of them. And that is the truth. It's just like the Wizard of Oz, the big mean face comes down. Rawr, rawr, rawr. But if you really knew what was behind the curtain, you'd be laughing your ass off. These motherfuckers are nothing more than just a bunch of people pushing knobs and buttons, hoping and wishing that you will stay oblivious and stay scared. And the cops are nothing more than salespeople. And people are running around scared to death. They think that these cops are... Uh, gonna kill them and you see all this stuff on the news and yeah cops have killed people before but they are not just running around killing everybody if you don't if you don't believe me go and check out the obituaries go and look on the social security website see if alton sterling or any of these people or trayvon martin or any of these people are actually dead <laughs> and you'll see that these people don't even exist it's fucking it's bullshit there's no obituaries for Rudy eugene it's bullshit so on to the next thing. People are full of anxiety and stress and they're all stressed out. It is the fear machine at work. If you are running around, you're scared to death, or you're stressed out, or you're needing to be on time for something, or you need an anxiety pill because you're so stressed out and you're so high strung and your shit's all fucked up and out of whack, it's because the fear machine is working on you and they want you to go take a pill instead of the face the problem and big wig pharmaceutical Big Wick Pharma is definitely indoctrinated, indoctrinated as fuck. And they were going to tell you that you have a problem and that you need to do all this stuff and take all these pills and do all this shit. But the truth is, is that the fear machine is working on your ass. And you have a time virus, you have a language virus, you have a lot of different things that are keeping you uh, out of balance. Uh, chemical imbalances, indoctrinations that keep you running in circles, kind of like uh, the ring of Saturn, state relationships. It's all for profit. They don't give a fuck if you're stressed out. They don't give a fuck if you want to get a divorce because your shit's all confused and fucked up. They don't give a fuck. They just want to make a profit. So, ultimately, this is all corporate stuff. All crimes are commercial. And people just need to understand that that, that is the main thing. Once you realize that, your anxiety it goes away because... You know what I'm saying? Your anxiety is gone because you realize that everything is just, it's all yours. This whole world is yours. Everybody doesn't want you to realize it. And they don't want you to have what's uh, what's owed to you, what, what, what you have. 
is being manipulated and used and you are the victim instead of the beneficiary. So ultimately people just need to realize and do some soul searching and, and some law searching and understanding of what what their lives really are because if you realize that everyone's just won a commercial transaction against you then you'll realize the fear machines want you to be afraid of the cops they want you to be afraid of cops they want you to think that the cops are gonna blow your fucking head off and they're not they're not check out the obituaries i'm sorry i'm speaking too fast i'm speaking so fast that my tongue is starting to trip over my lips <laughs> whatever but i have a lot to say and i have a lot of good information on to the next vampirism reptilians reptilian cores Vlad the Impeller reptilian bloodlines I'm starting to believe that a lot of this shit is just fear campaigns why because the blue blood families are controlling over you and ultimately what you know in the news is that they are shapeshifters or they are they're going to drink your blood, which they probably do. Who knows? They probably worship a false sun idol or maybe they're smart enough to think maybe they want you to think that. Maybe they want you to think that they're so evil and bloodthirsty. And, and you go back and you look at the videos of the queen. She never said that this was your last Christmas. You, you go back and look at all of the different hoaxes and all of the things that they want you to be afraid of. Y2K, they want you to be afraid of the New World Order, they want you to be afraid of face biters, they want you to be afraid of all of these fake ass things. Why do they want you to be afraid of reptilians? Why do they want you to be afraid of vampires in your presidency and all of this shit? They even rub it into everything. I mean, I'm telling you, they rub it and put it on everything because why? They know that if you get smart enough, there's going to be levels to the deception. There's going to be levels and levels and levels of it. You're going to see clues and shit like that. You're going to think, oh my God, these motherfuckers really are going to fucking do a real life World War Z and there's reptilians and all this stuff. Well, it's very possible that there are not any reptilians. Why do I say that? It's because your history is fake. Any account of any reptilians in your ancient history is absolutely not happening. It is not real. It's not true. It's made up. It's fabricated. Look at the Stonehenge hoax. Look at the Giza hoax. I mean, guys, look at the fucking the Holocaust hoax. Hitler was just an actor. These Freemasons are just actors. They're pushing fear campaigns. They got everybody scared to death, scared out of their fucking minds. I'm, I'm hoping that you find this is good, useful inf information because it's all true. Just go and look it up for yourself. Don't be afraid of all of this bullshit because it's all, they're just trying to keep us controlled. And the only way to do that is with fear. Let's go down a list here. Look at all the stuff that people are afraid of. <clears throat> Reptilian cores, right? You saw a chart that said that we had reptilian cores through our brain. And I saw this and I was terrified for some time thinking, man, they done did all this stuff to us. But our history is fake. So that means that nothing in the Bible is probably true. Uh, short of us being under this dome. Maybe there is a true creator to us. And uh, maybe we're just being deceived. Everything on a silver platter is clearly probably a lie. Chemtrails is nothing but water vapor. No one's gonna poison the air that they fucking breathe. Nobody will do that. No one will ever fucking do that. They're gonna make you believe that they've done this and you're gonna be thinking about it all the time. Let's go back <laughs> to this dude. I'm telling you. Boom. Mr. Adam Bomb here. 